This is a before and after, a single atlas orthogonal adjustment. Here we can see the lower angle is 12.59 degrees, which is a lot. And after the adjustment, it reduced down to 7.73. You can even see how much less crooked it is. As an atlas orthogonist, we care about this stuff because there's cerebral spinal fluid going through there, there's blood supply going through there, there's venous drainage trying to come out of the head, there's also lymphatic drainage that tries to come out of the head. Uh, here is a beautiful video I found on the internet showing the movement of the how the brain moves when there's an Arnold Chiari problem, which is a certain type of malformation uh, that is underreported. We're actually finding that people can have cerebral spinal fluid problems moving the brain in a way it should not be moved, causing symptoms that don't make any sense to the medical mind. The brain controls everything. When you have problems with the cerebral spinal fluid, you're gonna see all kinds of weirdness going on. They're gonna look like a hypochondriac. They're gonna have fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, a whole list of problems that just don't fit into the box of certain pathologies. As a matter of fact, uh, you can even be misdiagnosed as having, well, I don't even wanna say some of the diagnoses out there because for legal reasons, but suffice it to say that when there is an atlas out of place, the cerebral spinal fluid can back up, have pressures in certain locations, decrease pressures in other locations. The whole brain can move aberrantly. Uh, the byproducts of metabolism are not being flushed out of the brain correctly. Uh, there's a buildup of the cerebral spinal fluid in certain areas. The cerebral spinal fluid acts as a coolant and it carries away the byproducts of metabolism. Uh, another problem, when the atlas is out of place, causing pressure right in here, the lymphatic can't drain, the blood supply can't train, drain very well. Um, and there's decreased blood supply going into the brain. There's some, been some beautiful ultrasound studies showing the improvement of, uh, actually the transdoppler, the transdoppler ultrasounds. So some significant changes before and after the atlas adjustment. Uh, there's another, so this is my Facebook page, Lawrence Chiropractic. And that's the instrument that we're talking about. When we use the Atlas instrument, the person hears a click, they might feel a slight vibration just for a moment, but there's not really any sensation that anything happened. The person doesn't feel any pain, doesn't really feel anything until they sit up and then they start feeling weird. They start feeling all the changes. Uh, the room gets brighter, uh, pressure drains out of their head. Uh, here on my Facebook page, I've got uh, some you know great testimonials where the people tell you, there's that video you just saw. Uh, this is one of uh, Jim McMahon, quarterback for Chicago Bear. He says that it felt like the toilet flushed after Dr. Rosa adjusted his atlas with the atlas orthogonal instrument. Uh, I mean, this is a, a great video that I do. These are all like four minute videos. Which is the top of C2. We measure the relationship yeah. between the head so basically, if you go to my Facebook page, you'll see a lot about explaining what's going on with these patients that don't fit into any of these boxes. So if you know anybody that's been told they're a hypochondriac because the doctors can't find out what's wrong with them, uh, look for a, a, a cerebral spinal fluid flow problem. Oh, by the way, Dr. Demadian, the guy who invented the MRI machine, uh, what he's doing now is he's doing motion picture video MRIs before and after the atlas orthogonal adjustment. So he'll show that the cerebral spinal fluid doubles in speed sometimes. He, he says he knows what it's supposed to be. He knows what the flow is supposed to look like as it goes through the brain. It's, it's really cool what Dr. Demady is able to come up with. If you ever watch one of any of his videos, he's a genius. Uh, it really is the cutting edge of, of solving a lot of these problems that haven't been able to be solved any other way. God bless. Have a good day.